at 10, Pam Huff, for the first time, has spoken to police about Betsy Faria's murder. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes now with the Lincoln County investigator who interrogated Huff. Investigators did not know what to expect when pulling up to Pam Hupp's prison in Chillicothe. She was anxiously waiting on us. That was the first surprise to Lincoln County Under Sheriff Randy Lambert. You could see her from the window when you first arrived and basically waving at us. It was certainly a heavyweight fight. Uh, four hours of, of discussing just about anything we needed her to talk about because she's, she wants to control the interview. Hop now charged with stabbing Betsy Faria to death in 2011, already serving a life in prison sentence for the 2016 murder of Louis Gumpenberger. The St. Charles County prosecutor said she lured the man with disabilities and killed him in a plot to deflect scrutiny she was facing for Faria's murder. After Fox 2 captured Hupp's 2016 arrest exclusively, Hupp stabbed herself in the neck with a pen rather than answer O'Fallon police investigators. By this time we had our notepad and we set the pen down and, and she actually made a statement of uh, don't leave that pen around me. You know how dangerous things can get with me with a pen. You could see Lambert Monday standing behind Lincoln County Prosecutor Mike Wood as Wood announced the new murder charge. Because of the ongoing investigation, he could only talk in general about his interview with Hupp. But when it was over, we were, we were certainly exhausted. <laughs> she didn't confess? She did not confess, of course not. Uh, but she also, uh, she gave little statements and hints here and there that she was fully aware, enough to the point that she is willing to get on a stand and testify. She's no fan of yours, you know, she made that clear. She believes you were one of the ones that's kind of pushed this investigation and, and, and pushed things in the direction that pointed the finger towards her. We just knew uh, after four hours, you know, the exhaustion was starting to set in, but also uh, the prison officials were kind of giving us looks too that it was time but it ended with her wanting off one my phone number she wants to be able to call me and uh, come back and talk some more hop is scheduled to be arraigned right here at the lincoln county justice center at the end of this month for the fox files i'm chris hayes